her explanation was it was all supposed to be an acting project that she was working on involving her, her ex-husband, and her ex-boyfriend, now informant. Now, the first person to testify here in court today was the Boynton Beach police chief and a police spokeswoman. And then Dahlia, her attorney, was trying to convince the judge that the police department violated her rights when they staged that crime scene and then allowed producers from the TV show Cops to tag along and use the case in one of their episodes. And DiPolito says this was all an acting job and her ex-husband was in on it. She says she had the informant who was a past boyfriend. They were all doing an acting project that involved hiring a hitman to kill her husband. This is the state attorney asked for proof of such a script. So where are your notes of all these meetings and what you guys were going to do in your scripts? Where's all the stuff? That was at our house. Okay. Where? At your house. In the office. Where in the office? On the computer in the office. Okay. So you can still get that, right? No, I actually can't go back to that property. Now, the case gained national attention when it broke back in 2009. Her reaction after getting the news that her husband had been killed was recorded on video and went viral on YouTube. Now, here back out again live, that news conference still under, underway here outside the courthouse after this morning's hearing. Um, no word yet on exactly when that judge will make a ruling, but um, we're told that both sides have 10 days to um, submit their summations. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News. Angela.